Now, basketball will be a familiar activity at many summer camps, but this one is slightly different. More than half of the students here are visitors from China, and this camp focuses on a lot of different aspects rather than just sport and fun. I'm joined by a couple of the students. Tell us, how are you finding Cumbria? How are you enjoying your trip? Oh, sure. I'm very glad to come here, and this opportunity is very good for me. And there were some cultural difference from China and here, but I'm very enjoying the food here, the students here, and I make a lot of friends. And I'm very glad to, to talk to him. The education is different because this uh, uh, the Saint Bay School is very interesting, but uh, in China maybe it's very uh, it's very uh, the study is very nervous, and I and. Uh, I really like the, this school. Excellent. Now we'll leave the sporting scene and move to a more outdoor environment for a little pastoral education. Oh, thank you. What's this? Powerful. Recyclable? Yeah. yeah. As well as sport, the school is running education programmes throughout the holidays here in the field. They're learning about recycling. Veronica, tell us what have you been doing this morning? We'll be doing some recycling about what you can and what you can't recycle and what you can do if to like save our planet. And can learning be fun in the summer? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I'm also joined by the headmaster now, Roger Sinnett. Roger, tell us, what is the philosophy behind this? We've got sport, we've got a cultural exchange, we've got education. It's quite a holistic approach. Very much so. Uh, some B school actually majors on uh, global awareness. We are creating global uh, citizens for the future. And that, that means that they have to work inside the classrooms, clearly of their academics, but also it's their character development, which is really, really important. And part of that is, of course, to be eco-warriors, looking after the planet. These guys are going to be the custodians of the future of our planet. They are learning about recycling, how to, how to look after their environment. And the forest school, which we do at St Bees, is a perfect example of how the classroom can be taken outside and all that wonderful learning can be done in fun and, and excitement. Roger, thank you very much. There's also a little bit of artistic flair to be catered for here. We went to have a look in the classroom. Yes, here we're staying with the ecologically friendly theme, but with an arts and crafts twist. And Stott, you designed this programme. What are we doing? Um, so the children today are making um, wool birds. They will be then put in the forest to attract more wildlife to come and use the forest. So the fake birds bring the real birds? They do, yeah. And once the real birds land, they realise that they're fake and then they'll stay in their nests. They've already decided it's a nice place. It's a very interesting programme, promoting all kinds of different ways to stay healthy, active and mentally stimulated. Let me just ask you, young lady, how have you enjoyed your trip to Cumbria? I'm very happy. And you've enjoyed yourself? Yeah. Happy, healthy holidays, the recipe for a very nice summer.